Let us pray. We praise you, O Lord, for lifting up John the Baptist, Elijah, Jeremiah, and the whole company of Old Testament prophets, and for placing your word in their hearts and on their tongues. Continue to be with your church today as she makes bold proclamation to all the nations that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O Lord, you desire not the death of a sinner, but that all would repent and live. Hear our prayers for those outside the church. Take away their iniquity and turn them from their false gods to you, the living and true God. Gather them into your holy church to the glory of your name. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O Lord, keep this nation under your care. Bless the leaders of our land that we may be a people at peace among ourselves and a blessing to the other nations of the earth. Grant that we may choose trustworthy leaders, contribute to wise decisions for the good of all, and serve you faithfully in our generation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O Lord, be with the sick, the dying, the hungry, the discouraged, the downhearted, the lonely, and all those assaulted by the devil. Hear the voice of their supplication and give them a rich measure of your grace. According to your will, give healing to them in body, mind, and soul. Surround them with family and friends who are filled with your spirit so that those in any trial or tribulation would know the consolation of your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O Lord, let your blessing be upon those who travel and may your holy angels accompany them. Give meaningful work to all those in need of employment. May they be justly rewarded for their labor, and may they find joy in serving you and supplying our needs. Let your abiding presence be with all children learning at home and at school. Lead them in paths of wisdom and righteousness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We thank you, O Lord, for those who have departed this life, trusting in the atoning death of Christ for their salvation. Guard our faith so that we too would die a blessed death, be welcomed into our heavenly home, and rejoice in you forever. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. <laughs>